seems legit. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year for 2022. Uh, my first video I was going to do a bag and then I went, you know what, I would like to talk about my cart. Um, so because this year I want to be using my cylinder arm machine a lot more. Um, so I will be switching between this machine and the green machine throughout videos. So I decided I needed a cart that holds all my essentials. Um, and then I can just wheel it from one to the other. So we're just going to do like a really quick one rundown about what's actually in my cart and what are the essentials that I need for bag making, switching between the machines. Now, the first thing is snips. However, I've actually got a magnet blue tacked to both of my machines that will hold the snips on there. So they're not part of my cart, but they are essential to the bag making. Um, and then here at the front, or side, whichever way you want to look at it, this is a knife magnet. So it's just a very heavy duty magnet that is holding all of my scissors. Now, you don't need this many. Um, I have two pairs of the same because my husband bought me a gift, so I have two. Um, so they are for vinyl cutting. I have my paper cutting scissors. I just let them live here so I can always find them. I've got my zigzag scissors, which are from Fiskus. And then I've also got my um, older snips, and I usually have a couple of other scissors as well. Um, but this just holds all the scissors in place without taking up room in the cart. Also, it will be easy to dust because there's less stuff in there. Um, I've got a green scully that holds all of my wonder clips. So for anyone that's super new to bag making, wonder clips are your best friend. They are like pins without stabbing through your vinyl so that they won't leave a mark. So I've got my skelly full of those. I have my flute cleaner, which is my turning stick. I know a lot of people use chopsticks. You can get an actual turning thing, but I like my wooden flute cleaner. It works amazingly. I have got two rulers in here, my 14 by four and my 14 by one. I love these rulers. You will see them in most, one or both in pretty much all the videos that I do. Um, this one I probably, if you had to pick one, I'd go with this one. This is actually the perfect size for a one inch wristlet strap. So if you just cut the whole way around this, that is your perfect size. Uh, but I do like to have the smaller one, it just helps. A cigarette lighter. Now I don't smoke, uh, but this is essential to your kit because you can singe fabric and, um, what else do we use? Webbing, thread, a bunch of stuff. Zipper tape, I also singe the zipper tape so it doesn't fray. So you do need a lighter. Um, mine will constantly change colour because my husband steals it, but that's fine. Uh, for this machine, I do need a screwdriver to change out my feet if I do ever change them. So that's just living in there. Um, my little scraper, this is to help um, if you've watched my older videos, this helps put a crease when you're making a strap so that it won't lift up and unstick. So I do use this a lot. This one is from Vinyl Loft. Um, I do actually want to get my own with my logo, but that's a problem for another day. Um, and then I've got my other skull. So this is like a pen holder. This holds all my other stuff. So in here I have a friction pen as well as my chalk marker, depending on which one I need. I've got my mini electric screwdriver. I got this from eBay for about $30. So this is what I use to put all the screws in for the zipper ends and hardware. I've got a bunch of other pens. Um, I've got my, my mini rotary cutter. So this is an 18 mil wheel. It just lives in here so that I don't lose it because it is quite small. And I've also got my stiletto. I love this, this is like, there's a guy in WA that makes them. I would like to get green ones done. I will work on that for this year. Uh, but that's, and then pens. Lots and lots of pens. I don't tend to use them for here. It's just I need them closer to my cutting table. And then the bottom two layers, uh -huh, the other thing that lives on my magnet, but I knocked it off before, are my leather tool pliers. So these are just pliers that have no teeth grip in here. So when you squish something, it doesn't leave a mark. They also live on my magnet. Um, and then the bottom two layers of this are thread. 
All my three colours are now living on here so that I can mobile and move between the two. The other thing I have here, but this is actually more for embroidery, but I will still tell you why it's here, because you're all going to ask why I didn't explain the can. This is quilt basting spray. When I am embroidering on vinyl, um, I don't hoop the vinyl, I float it. Um, so sometimes I use a quilt basting spray and then stick it down. Other times I will just use double-sided tape um, and then stick it. But I do have that for that reason. And it just lives here because I always know where it is. This card is actually not very full. On the side, I got these little um, S-hooks from... I don't know, like a two dollar shop. You can get them from a hardware store, and they hold my double sided tape. So I have two sizes. I've got quarter inch and half inch, or six mil and twelve mil. So they hang separately, so I can grab them easier on the side of my card. And that's it. I haven't overfilled it with anything else that we need. That's not meant to be there. I was hiding that from my child the other day. That is um, glue. But that's all that I let live in this cart because I don't want it too full. I don't want it to have everything ever. You will run out of space. So it's just these are what I would classify as the essentials for sewing and bag making specifically. Um, also, if you wanted to, you could keep your um, cam. So these are all the different types of cam presser dies that I have. You could keep that in here. Um, I don't. I keep all my cam stuff. It tends to be over there. I just pull it out for videos and stuff. Uh, but this is just like a little compartmental box that I got from, I think, the hardware shop. So each little hole has a different set for different stuff. And yes, I have a lot, um, but I like toys. So, And if, I'm, if I spent the money on a cam press, I might as well do all the cool stuff with it. Right, I think that is all. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I will be back to bag making soon. Technically, I'm still on holidays, but we all know I can't help myself. So I thought I'd pop in. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I will be doing videos. There will be less videos per week this year. I'll probably only get two because my child's in school. So I have to pick him up by a certain time and drop him off. So I will have less hours in the day, but more days. So at this rate, I'm aiming for two videos a week because I want to do a lot of other stuff in the business as well. Um, and then I will do at least one live every month that I can absolutely promise. There might be more, but a minimum of one live a month because I know you guys love Q&As. And at least two videos every week. They will not just be my patterns. I will continue to do anyone's patterns that let me. I'm going to try and do like different patterns and do as many different designers each month as I can. Um, I will be taking requests of videos, but I can't promise when it will fit into my schedule. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So thank you all for tuning in and I promise I will do a bag video soon. All right, bye-bye.